Hey, and welcome to the Toadstead. All right, well, what you're looking at here is the back of our little Kubota. And this is one of those situations where it was like, hey, I'm doing something. I might as well share this. Let me see if I can get a little more light. Yeah, it didn't make much difference. Anyway, this is our cultivator. And uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, it just basically rips stuff up. Let's put it that way. These two on the outside. Yeah, it's another story. These two on the outside basically tear up the ground where the tires compacted the dirt. And then there was two more here. And uh, this is them. Just took them off. And what that did makes little rows that we can plant most of what we want to in. In fact, let me, uh, let me show you that. And this is out in the... Uh, I guess we call it the top small garden. And uh, you can see where the rows are. Of course, if I drove the tractor a little straighter, they'd be straighter, but it does the job. We use a small, uh, Earthaway, I think is who makes it. It's a little cedar that looks like a tiny, tiny little bicycle. And uh, I might do a video on that later. But with that cedar, this looks really well. In fact, our corn's coming up in the back part of it. But, while this works for most of what we do vegetable-wise, it doesn't work for the peanuts. So along comes, I'm basically going to call it a hiller. And uh, when we were using the cultivator without these, we would have to basically use our hoe to put two rows together. Because we like to have our peanuts on about 30 foot wide, 30 foot, 30 inch wide beds. And this is a little turned, and maybe if I turn it more, it'll make more sense for you. These are in there loosely because it all has to be taken apart and set up. But you get the idea. When I lower this, let's use this hand, it doesn't have a bandage on it. When I lower this down, these two will still help pick up the compacted soil from the tractor tires. But these, these two hillers, which I'm going to spread out more will make it looks like it's going to be just under 30 inches wide hill right down the middle and this wasn't an easy decision because due to the width of the tractor we are going to lose some land to the um with the tractor tires because we'll overlap as we go you know we'll make a row then move over this way that tire will end up in this one so on and so forth but with the we're hoping that with this wide hill, this little raised bed, it'll not only be able to put the plants side by side and get a lot of them in and be able to walk down to check them, but it'll sort of fluff up the uh, hill itself. So when it comes time to harvest, our soil being a little on the clay side, uh, it can get quite kind of hard. So we're, we're hoping to not only be able to create a taller, fluffier place for the plants to sit, but we're also kind of hoping that when it comes time to harvest, we can change the attitude of these just a little bit and use them to loosen the hill, thus making taking the plants out with a, uh, a potato fork, which is what we use, a whole lot easier. But for right now, I've got to get these this whole thing kind of set up got to mess around and get the angles right of the of the uh, of the discs and get the right distance of uh each disc holder prong whatever you want to call it but uh let's get this all together and we'll take a peek and see how it works well okay had to do some it took me a little longer to do this than i thought it would do excuse me i thought it would take but uh, a couple things that I did do. You can see those nails there. I ground the heads off one side so I could slide them in. These shanks theoretically were the same size as the ones I took off, but you know, it didn't fit. No, now it fits. And then uh, I've got it propped up here because this tractor's hydraulics does do let it creep down a little bit. And then I have to, I pulled this adjustment way up to get more clearance to work on it. So I need to let this bar come down a whole bunch, but I'll do that after I start it. 
and uh, we're gonna take it out field and see what it does all right well it's the next morning and uh, <laughs> sorry about this it just ran out of time last night and we got it sitting over here where we usually park it and well it took a lot longer than I thought it would mostly because of the uh, you know this is the initial setup never used one of these before um, and just kind of had to figure it out and we have a bed very close to the size we wanted and as you can see we got a little little out of alignment there I'll fix that uh, it didn't have any problem it was it was like this it wasn't like this in the end it sort of ended up like this when I set it down afterwards so the beds look pretty good but just figuring out where to put everything based on what we wanted which tying to use we didn't know if we were going to put this one in to break it up and then this one after we just didn't know but this is the setup we ended with not uh not counting the slightly crooked disc there which i'll fix later we had like i said interesting times doing it i think i showed earlier we had to put a couple spacer nails in there even though these are the correct size so I don't know does cast iron shrink but you know either way and then right towards the end of the day I snapped that bolt right there and uh, had to go fishing amongst the stuff to find another one so we'll still tinker with it but uh, let me show you the beds it created well this was the rows we ended up with and uh, they don't look as good as we want them to right now, but we have to add a part to that that'll make them. But you can see the, th th you know, the rows right there. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for like a 30 inch ish row where we can stagger plant our peanuts or perhaps even put them side by side right down the row. And with any luck, the early weeding that comes with doing the peanuts will be a little easier because you can walk down these wider rows. Now there's other things coming with this whole mechanization process here, but for right now this is kind of what we think is going to work best for us. Right, back over here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lay a chain I'm not quite sure where and how yet, but we're thinking from these areas right here in the tines that are sticking out, we're going to droop a small chain. Well, I don't know, I don't know, small. I don't know, maybe a quarter, quarter inch chain across. And the idea being that as that chain is dragged behind these two discs, it'll somewhat flatten out the top of the row but whether we'll get to that this planting or not uh, just it remains to be seen uh, for those of you who might be watching this in at a much later date this is all taking place in the middle of the uh, the COVID pandemic so getting bits getting parts getting even getting seeds um, in this spring of 2020 has not been as easy as we would like it to be. But for right now, we wanted to share this with you, and we'll see you next time around.